Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is DJ Fauna coming to you live well, from the Twitch TV channel. If you have not already followed, I suggest you do. Right now, you're probably watching this on the YouTube channel, which would be the Hammered Crows Incorporated. Today, we're doing the playthrough for XCOM Enemy Unknown with a very special guest, my good friend Roxmack from somewhere in Canada. What? Aren't you Canadian? No. I thought you were the Canadian one. <laughs> no. Oh, he's a Navy man anyway. Congratulations. He's about to be shipped out in a few days. Yeah. Wishing the best. But for now, he shall be my partner in crime for XCOM. Unfortunately, we can't do multiplayer because that sucks. I wish we could because that'd be awesome, but we can't. So, let's put this shit on easy because I am terrible at this game. We hit accept. Okay. Now here's how shit's gonna roll. Most of you are familiar with the concept of XCOM. If you're not familiar with the concept of XCOM, here's the thing. Earth has been invaded by aliens. That's right. Aliens. And this is a very, actually a really good quote. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. And you have to admit, he has a good point. Both the possibilities are pretty fucking scary. Alright, so what do we have here? Looks like something is yeah, cursed. Yeah, hmm? They used to do the tutorial again. It's gonna suck. No, I didn't put the tutorial on this time. Okay. Yeah, so I actually get to pick what country I'm going to be representing. Hey, mercy, hey, Death Knight. And look at this guy run. And he got pretty yeah. far. You have to give him credit where credit's due. <laughs> pretty sure that running gets you dead. Yeah, he ran right into his death on that one. Man, look at all this green shit. <clears throat> you can talk out loud, man. It's okay. No, no, I, I'm, my mission, I'm on. I just had one of those uh, mech things show hello, up. Commander. Hey, look, it's Lex Luthor. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, I'm still convinced that's Lex Luthor. Nations has convened to well, I, don't, I just don't understand why I like more money. XCOM project. Lex Luthor's a cheap man. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. But supposed to be defending the world. To oversee our first and last line of defense. You still need to leave some way for after the world is over. You have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge yeah, you, you to keep use that, that money as a new technology proceed. you get from all the stuff. Pretty much. And, but you, you really can just dump all the money you want and then be fine. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, Lex Luthor. I'm not. I'm gonna go with Lex Luthor the whole time because he looks like Lex Luthor. He looks like a Lex Luthor to me. Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. Weird that he's supposed to be leading this, and you don't see his face. Yeah, that's a little iffy to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so we got to choose our base now. North America gives you air and space. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost fifty percent less to purchase, build, and maintain. We look at Europe. Expert knowledge, laboratories, and workshops cost fifty percent less to build and maintain. Go to Asia. All projects in the foundry and officer training schools cost 50% less, which is pretty cool. Go to South America. Optocies and interrogations are completed instantly. That's okay, but you're only going to be using it like 10 times. Yeah. Africa, all in. Monthly ESCOM funding increased by 30%. Africa, don't fuck around. See, they know. They know we need money. <laughs> but I think for this time, I'm going to go with Asia. Yeah. I'm going to go with Asia this time. This is a good smart choice. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right. This quest is now in Japan. We're going to kill some alien scum on the Japanese soil. We're going to stain their streets green. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright. Let's go up here properly positioned. Dash your ass over here. Enemy in sight. Wow, already found him. Alien life on Earth. 
We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Look, I'm not sure about you, Doctor, but the whole thought about alien life on Earth still scares the hell out of me. I can't be the only one, right? If they're unlike that, then yes. Like, I don't know, man. The thoughts of aliens in general just scare the hell out of me. I haven't had to been able to name my soldiers yet, but when I do, ho ho ho. Watch this time I'm gonna die every time. I haven't even decided which one we're gonna name you yet. Ha! You missed! 45% shot to hit, I like those odds. I'm about to start keeping score. Beautiful shot. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Oh man, I really want to put him on the roof, but I know if I do, I'm like sentencing him to death. Well, if you just hold him there, then next turn send him up there and use the uh, stuff up there to protect him. Yeah, like I could send him up there to hunker down, but at the same time, that's risky as shit too. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh god, I left him outside of cover. That's not gonna be good at all. No, he's not. Uh, he has a hundred percent shot on him. They're trying to pull back. It looks like he's trying to fire on my face, and he got the shot on me. Hey, alien, you're outside of cover now too, buddy. Hey, the Canadian got the kill! <laughs> they have to be able to do something. Alright, up the stairs you go. Wow, so good. Like, I meant to throw you on top of the roof, but... Apparently yeah, decided to jump careful. over. It'll, it'll, it'll troll you if you're not careful. Yeah, like she decided to just like jump over the entire roof. It's like, nah, bro, I got this. Here, alien scum, where are you? Where the hell's the alien scum? I don't see them. Hiding. Probably hiding. I still don't see these guys. This is really disturbing. <laughs> like I, I can, like I can feel them here. I know they're here. Just don't know where exactly. That's the scary part. It's like I know they're here, but I don't know where. <laughs> There they are. What was that sound? What do you think that sound was? What are we fighting? That's what that sound was. <laughs> Got like some massive high ground here. Hopefully be able to see something. Why is the Japanese level so huge? I don't know. No, so that's how you do it. It's like breaking my skull trying to figure out how to, how to change the camera angle. There they are! Hello, Clarice. Do I have a clear shot at him? That's a pretty clear shot to me. He didn't die though. That's a shame. I made the mistake of not having medics on my team for a while there. Say, support is not bad, man. 
No. Definitely useful. How do you miss a 75% shot? Looks like I found Adris's replacement. <laughs> that one will be called Adris. Okay, you alien scum, come out of hiding. Ow. Forty-five percent shot actually hits. Awesome. Not instant kill though, sadly. Oh, I love X-rays. <laughs> kill the X-ray, kill the partner. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Alright, we'll decide what to do when I get there. Until then, just hold tight. Am I right? Of course I'm right. <laughs> oh, son of a... God damn it. I do like how they painted, like, the little alien on the side of the aircraft. Oh, yeah. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I just lost half my I'm team. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. Well, thank you, My Bradford. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. All right, let's promote this guy. He deserves his promotion. After all the hard work he did, shit. That three of them. Oh wow, but they're wounded. The assault like class serves as our front line. Assault, the all right. Ones into a fight, and the last a sniper. Out. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage Squatty, from afar. But without support. sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. All right, so the squad cat, the freaking, this guy who's actually active, he shall be rock smack. <laughs> I'll name the other guys as we get them. Let's go to the research lab and see what you have for me. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is no. where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts yeah. recovered from our no. first encounter where, where with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Alright, so here to give me the option of starting some research. I gave you the xenobiology, which is a crucial that we begin thoroughly understand the alien physiology, order to develop the weapons and tactics, the better suit to combine them. Weapon fragments, uh, but I think it gives you a scope, and alien material gives you armor. I forgot what xenobiology gives you, but let's go with alien material, because body agree, armor is always good. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when it... Okay, whatever. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Hello, Mr. Engineer. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Alright, what do you have for me? Medkit. Yes. Let's say one. Mission control. Commander to mission control. Uh, do I don't really have enough to build a satellite yet. Alright, let's go to mission control. What do you have for me? You have nothing for me. Okay, let's just scan the planets then. Wow, that was fast. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Well, let's go to France because they're... No, not France. <laughs> 